First of all, may I thank you all for attending this consultation. Consultation? It's already been decided. This meeting, it's just for appearances. Oh, no, not at all. The council has put forward a proposal, and this is part of the process of engaging with the community. What a lot of rot. What I want to know is why is it having to be so compulsory? Whatever happened to an Englishman's home is his castle. Oh, I'm sure this will be answered in good time. But in the meantime, I'd like to ask Graham Fossett of uh, Brian Grove Council. Thank you, Mr Chairman. Now, for many years, generous rewards have been available for installing solar power on residential property. If you can afford it, Earlier meetings have covered that point. Now, the feed-in. Feed-in tariff. Now, the feed-in tariff at one time was so generous that companies would install it for you for free in return for receiving part of the return to the consumer. And yet, this borough has one of the worst rates of take. Oh, so they didn't take the carrot, and now you're going to use the big stick. Times have moved on, and the feed-in tariff has become much less generous. And clearly, the voluntary scheme in this borough isn't working. And yet, the council has national targets to meet. Now, what we see here is masses of sunlight going to waste. Now, our proposal will secure better financial benefits for the homeowner than you would get if you installed your own system, but only if we make it compulsory for all. And that is why we are proposing to use our new powers under the Energy Act 2017 for the compulsory leasing of all suitable roof spaces. I suppose now you're going to tell us what a wonderful world it would have been had we installed this about a year ago. Graham, perhaps you could give us more of an idea of the timescale of this operation. 